This is a uh, demonstration of the new print capability that we have. The print capability found under the print menu here or by going to um, file print in some of our other screens will generally bring you to this uh, new screen. What you're expected to do is select the scope of what you'd like to build. The scope would include uh, all components, all of these and all of the entities that make those up, or all of the footprints, which would be all of these and the parts that make those up, all of the symbols right here, and all of the parts that make those up, or just the current component, footprint, or symbol, which would mean the one that is highlighted. In this case, we don't have any highlighted. You also have the option, if you have the gold version, to select multiple XLR files, in which case we are going to print all of the components or footprints or whatever in all of the XLR files that you select. It will ask you for a directory of XLR files. Once you provide that, we'll go through the rest of this screen for each of the XLRs provided. Now in addition, as you select components, as an example, different entities for each component can be printed and they can be turned off. For instance, if you're not worried about the gating for your components, you don't need to see that in your printout, you can turn it off. You'll note that as we change the scope, certain capabilities turn on and off. For instance, if we're going to print footprints, there is no component header, symbol information, and so forth. If we're going to do symbols, on the other hand, all of the com component information as well as all of the footprint information disappears. Once you've made a selection, you may want to select the particular view used for printing your footprints. We have a, print, a normal print view for footprints, but notice that you could select several other um, footprint views that will show you, for instance, just the um, just the, the heat tabs or the solder paste or the solder mask, just the place boundaries, the no probe areas, uh, just the silk strain in the assembly, or any other views that you have set up using your uh, footprint editor. Once you select all of this the way you'd like it, you say print. It will ask where you'd like to print to. In this case, I'm going to print to the Acrobat Distiller. It's going to ask me for a file name, which is unusual and only happens with the Acrobat Distiller, as far as I know. Most other printers will just go ahead and start printing. Um, because of the size of the parts that we have, this will take a little bit of time to actually start the print and complete it and then open up the Acrobat. Um, you can't see it, but in the background, my Acrobat uh, print screen opened up, and I have the printout. So, uh, again, your basic uh, print screen involves selecting what your scope is that you'd like printed, and then, again, the entities that you'd like to see printed.